Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, like I mentioned before, we're going to be taking a look at the Unreal Engine 5 NVIDIA Ramen Shop demonstration. Now, just a disclaimer, if you don't know what Ray Reconstruction is, I actually made a video, I think, yesterday about it. So go ahead and watch that first before watching this, because if not, it's just not going to make sense. So on the left side of this, we have a little menu here. We have it set to full screen, 4K resolution. I'm also recording in the same computer using one RTX 4090. So my computer right now is not liking me whatsoever. So first things first, let's check out the bookmark cameras. So if I go to zero, it's going to take us into this camera right here. And what I want you to pay attention to right now is at the bottom right corner, about right here where this mesh is. I want you to take a look at this very carefully, okay? And what I will do is I will set this to off now. And right away, you're going to see that we have some reflection kind of dancing around and there are some pixels just moving around. If you're familiar with Lumen, this is nothing new. You've seen this before. And again, I mentioned this in my video yesterday. Ray reconstruction doesn't just denoise the image. It doesn't just upscale the image. It's actually filling in pixels. So we're getting some textures back. So if I go right here, I turn it on, it's going to be much stabler. It's just saying, hey, I know what this looks like. And here's the rest of that information instead of that, you know, messy reflection dancing. And that's what's really impressive with this technology. It's just the AI is smart enough to know what's missing rather than just guessing. It's replacing those messy pixels, if you will. So uh, that said, let's move on to the first camera right here. And for this one, I want you to take a look at once again on the ground, right? It's really obvious in the reflections what Ray Reconstruction is doing. Um, even in the Cyberpunk 2.0, you can really see the difference on the ground, especially on the reflections. So here we are with the Ray Reconstruction turned on and let's turn it off. And once again, the reflections just get a little bit more messier, a lot of dancing pixels in there. And that's because the denoiser it's just denoising the image. It's not doing anything else. As you can see right here, this is really confused. It, it just doesn't know what to do. And whenever I'm rendering path tracing, I know I always say I don't use denoisers because they look like this. It just looks like a mush, to be honest. So for me, I try to get as much pixel, as much samples as I can in my renders and then the, and then just denoise later on. I don't render with the denoiser on whatsoever because to me it just does too much. But again, with Ray Reconstruction, everything just looks much more stable. And again, that's just because it's actually filling in the pixels because it knows what it's supposed to look like. It's kind of freaky and magical. So let's go to the second bookmark here. And here is the camera number two. And you probably can guess where the Ray Reconstruction is going to be helping out in here as well. So let's turn this off. And once again, we have some reflection dances right here and down here. This is Lumen Reflection on Real Engine 5. Uh, I actually was curious if they used 5.3 in this one. I don't think they did because you all know in 5.3, there is an extra bounce. You can add multi-bounds in reflections, which is super cool. I think it would enhance the scene a little bit more so. But again, right here, turn that on. It's much more stable. All right, so let's go to the third camera now. But watch what happens whenever you turn it off. It's just right here on the highlights. And again, on the floor, you can see it all. cleans it up down here and again this is all running in real time right and we have frame generation turned on right now because like i mentioned in my previous video nvidia dlss 3.5 comes with three different components you have your super resolution ray reconstruction frame generation and i'm hoping one day we'll get dlaa as well which is the deep learning anti-aliasing that would be really sweet but for now this right here is super resolution this is actually dlss2 so i can set this to quality we're going to lose a little bit of FPS right here in the top right corner, but that's going to give you a better quality. So let's go back to the free cam because now I want to enhance and pretty much go maximum. Our frame rate is going to tank. But that's okay. This is a visual test, not necessarily a gameplay test. So let's set the super resolution to quality. And again, this is DLSS2. We have ray reconstruction turned on. And right here is kind of crazy. This is actually NIS, NVIDIA Image Scaling, which I've made videos about on the channel i've actually included it in some of the vr experiences that i've had people download it's pretty cool it doesn't take a lot 
of hardware to use this but what this does on the image is actually applying to me it looks like unsharp mask if you're familiar with that with after effects or photoshop um to me i don't really use it too much i'll probably set it to like 0.5 uh right in the middle and again cyberpunk 277 i'm pretty sure the same exact slider that they're using in that but it's pretty cool so now i can actually move around in here and we're at about 44 frames per second and this is with ray reconstruction turned on and and it's just it looks fantastic and i can press my wast here nvidia did an amazing job creating this demonstration to be honest because they combined all of their new technologies into one demo actually it would have been cool i'm not sure if it's in here i just saw that the nvidia game dev live stream they had last week they showcase uh, unreal engine 5 nvidia caustics so again that would be something that they can add in the next demo and it would do the nvidia caustics unreal engine 5 caustics that i saw it, it's it's just mind-blowing if you haven't seen it go check it out uh it's on a live stream and and i'm hoping that we would get that uh nvrtx caustics branch eventually one day because again it's it's super good yeah so like a one it's a little bit too sharp that's why I usually leave mine at like 0.5. And again, if we turn this off, you know, start seeing the dances right there. I mean, with it off, it, it doesn't look bad at all. If, if you get used to the Lumen, you know, reflection dances, it's fine. What Ray Reconstruction is doing, it's just really stabilizing the image. So you won't get that. And pay attention to this right here. If I turn off the sharpness, you can definitely tell that NIS working there. Look at that. And again, the FPS wise, you're not really, it doesn't cost as much. And it works in VR. That's the beauty of it. This is a really impressive environment. It's pretty cool that they turned this into a cyberpunk ramen shop because originally when they showcased this two years ago in video omniverse video it wasn't like cyberpunk ish but they kind of turned it into cyberpunk which is always nice yeah so we got the floor right here we got some rtx eggs looking good And what's cool about Ray Reconstruction is sometimes whenever you have some denoisers and stuff going on in your game, whenever you're moving the camera, the effect that it's doing actually falls apart. But with Ray Reconstruction, even in this demo in the Cyberpunk, even whenever you move the camera, it stays stable. And I know some people will probably say that's kind of pixel peeping. I mean, I really don't mind to me, but some people out there really want, you know, fidelity and stuff in their games, which is, that's understandable. I don't even know what that is. Let's turn this off. Yeah, right here. If you've used Lumen before, you know that shadows and reflection, man, that's that's one of the bad downside, I would say, with Lumen right now. It's just it has a little bit of trouble in the shadowy area. But again, with ray reconstruction, I'm hoping that if they are, if this ever comes to like Unreal Engine 5 or something like that, we can play around with it. I hope that, you know, it would help because I can see it right here that it's helping. But whenever we get the actual official plugin one day, I would definitely want to test that out to see if it helps out. What is this? What are you making? The attention to detail of this demonstration is it, is just bananas. They spent they spent a good amount of time in this man. There's some talented people right here. And 
Uh, here's that little strainer. Ah, man, this is crazy. And let's take a look and see what frame generation is if I turn this off. Yeah, we're getting about 25 frames per second. And if I turn off super resolution, this is really get a start tanking at 11 frames per second. Yeesh. So let's turn this on to quality once again. And if you want to take a look at the performance, you can do that as well. And let's turn the sharpness down up a little bit. Like five. Yeah, there's a lot of dancing reflections right here. Even a performance, this looks pretty darn good. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm looking at it right now. But honestly, with super resolution, balance is still my favorite because it's the perfect uh, sweet spot, I think. This is incredible, man. And what's cool about this, eventually, we will get this in VR. In a not so distant future, we are going to get this in virtual reality. That... I can definitely get behind. Frame gen. Automatic goes to 50. And, and it's crazy, right? Because if you like, if you like flip on frame gen, and I guess let's talk about this real quick because a lot of people don't really like frame generation in DLSS 3 because they call it like fake frames. But to me, if the image is really not changing much, I mean, if I turn this off, I don't see much difference. The only thing I'm noticing is we're going from 30 frames per second to 50 frames per second. I mean, at the end of the day, a game is is made of fake frames. So to me, I don't have a problem with fake frames. I, I, and I'm mentioning that because a lot of people um, are trashing the graphics card because it's frame generation. It's not real frames. Fidelity wise, if you look at it on and off, you don't really see a visual change. You just get FPS back. And that is, that's the crazy thing about DLSS 3.5 frame generation and DLSS 3 is you don't see the difference. You just getting that performance back, which is insane. So this is set to performance. No, this is quality. In a nutshell, what excites me the most about all of this is Again, you have different technologies combined into one, and it's potentially coming to Unreal Engine 5, right? So the NVRTX 5.2 right now already has the Ray Reconstruction blueprints in it. It's just not enabled yet. Now, there is a high chance that all of this technology that we're look looking at today will come to Unreal Engine 5. That being said, that's pretty much all I got for y'all in this video. Let me know if you have any questions below. Again, if you haven't seen my Ray Reconstruction Explain video, go check it out. It's pretty cool. Like always, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.